Hello everyone, this is Andrea from Adventures and Dreams and it's time to go on another adventure together. I'm heading back down to the Adirondack Mountains. I haven't been camping in over two months now and I am way overdue. Uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. It's super windy right now. If you've seen my wind tests with the tent, with the Inamash setup, you already saw how well it does, but it's going to be just the same right now this weekend. So let's get started. I see you guys down there. It was a rocky ride. It's definitely windy. It's going to be fun to put up the tent and I won't be able to show you because it's already dark, unfortunately. But uh, it's also snowing a little bit, so I will put up the tent in a storm and in the snow. Uh, that's going to be really fun. All right, well, let me get my stuff out of the car and get my tent set up somehow. Wish me luck. I wish I could have shown you how I put up this tent. The wind was so strong, it was actually coming from different directions. I staked down one end of it like you're supposed to, uh, where the wind comes from, and uh, then you just go from there. But the wind was turning on me constantly, and the tent was folding over on top of me. It was uh, an experience. <laughs> I sure wish I could have filmed that for you, but it was way too dark, and I would have worried about the camera. Uh, getting knocked over by the wind. I had some serious snowfall in between as well and then it stopped again. I have drifting snow and as you can hear hopefully also the wind which is crazy. I actually took some snow here and put it all around the tent at the bottom because there was such a fine snow that was flying all over the place and so I protected everything here at the bottom. It's good. It was kind of catastrophic earlier, like I said, with the wind, but now I feel good about it. Um, maybe you can see the tree over there. It's far enough away the one I usually camp uh, closer by, uh, right behind it, but it was just too dangerous I think this time because of the wind. There are more trees I can show you tomorrow um, this way, but everything is far enough away so if something falls down I should be okay. Same on this side. I just put snow everywhere, <laughs> everywhere where the fine snow could drift in. Ah, here it already came loose here at the bottom again. It didn't do a very good job getting this bottom part tight. But it's okay, that's the side where the, the inner tent is at, and so even if snow gets in there, it's okay. I'm not opening any of my vents because all of this fine snow is going to get in and it's going to get really cold tonight and tomorrow night and so I want to conserve as much warmth as I can. So it's going to be as well an interesting night here. Let's see if the light actually works. 
still see that. Nice. I can't wait for tomorrow when the wind dies down and hopefully there are stars out and I can take some night pictures with the tent in the foreground and maybe the stars or the moon. But tonight I'm just going to go into the tent. I'm gonna get everything set up, my sleeping, uh, my sleep system and uh, cook some food and that's it. I just worked through lunch and now I'm hungry. I'm just gonna cook up some freeze-dried food real quick and probably call it the night. The wind has been kicking up off and on, the whole tent walls were shaking. It's pretty crazy. That's why we came out here. I wanted to experience that, not just on the back deck, but out here as well. It's a, another awesome test for the Namage 2 GT. just get that water boiling and I will have lasagna with meat sauce from Mountain House I believe. I always split mine in two because it they don't have the single servings anymore unfortunately. They only have two servings and that's way too much for me so I don't know if you can see, but I have my chair all set up over here, my bed set up, and hopefully you can hear the wind. Hopefully you can hear it over my voice. Oh. I need to stop looking at you with my headlamp. <laughs> Sorry. jet boil because it's so fast. That's all I need tonight. Some fast hot water. It's definitely getting colder. I can feel that I put uh, the I put the backpack in front of the tent on the uh, near the door because the cold wind was coming in right from the doors right there. And that was way too cold for me. Definitely sealing everything up as much as I can before I go to bed. look all that appetizing does it? But it's tasting good. I mean I need some hot food in, in me for sure so I can warm up a little. Hmm, cheesy. Nine fifteen now. I'm gonna eat I'm gonna check everything outside one more time. I'm gonna uh, make sure everything's tight. And then heat up my water and then go to sleep. I'm tired. I might have to sleep the other way tonight because it's slanting the wrong way. <laughs> I, uh, I was actually trying to put it up a different way and then the wind came so strongly from the side of the tent. It was completely impossible to leave it this way. And so I turned it uh, facing this way as I have it right now, but I think it's actually downhill. That's something that's a little bit tougher with the non-freestanding tent, because with a freestanding tent you can just pick it up and turn it around and 
and put it any which way that you want, except maybe today with the wind. <laughs> but this one, you anchor down two points first, you put in all the poles, and then you pull the tent tight, and then you put the other two points in. And once you have it staked down like that, that's pretty much it. You kind of got to know how you're going to do it. And even so, I had two points staked out and they didn't work out. I had to move them <laughs> because of the wind. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. My original thought was that I'm going to get up early and hike up a mountain and catch the sunrise, but with this wind and with the ice that we've had lately, it's not a good idea. It's really dangerous to go out walking in the woods right now with this wind and I'm not going anywhere near it. We'll see what I'm going to do tomorrow. Depends on the weather. What have your craziest weather adventures been? Let me know, comment down below, I want to know for sure. Me, I can go out in any weather. I would love to actually go out in, in rainstorms and snowstorms. Uh, that's my favorite. And uh, not too many people want to join me on those trips. I haven't even tried actually to try to take someone with me on something like, um, like this weekend. But uh, me, I'm enjoying myself. So feel alive but I also feel safe in this tent which is very important. I hope you can see the tent walls move too. I'm hungry. It's time. It's time. Oh God. <laughs> I am so glad to be in here. <laughs> I definitely have to check the tightness on all the guidelines before I go to bed. Well, I want to wrap this up for tonight. I'm actually running out of the first battery almost already, but I'm, I think I blame the cold for that. I need to get my other battery out and put it in the sleeping bag to keep it warm. But uh, it's been fun so far. Definitely windy as promised and also getting a lot colder. So I'm gonna tuck in to my uh, sleeping bags here and um, I have to charge the phone too because it's running out of battery as well. Hmm. I'll see you tomorrow morning and um, I'll just wrap it up. Have a good night. Good morning everyone. I slept pretty well, for the most part anyway. I woke up a few times. Uh, the wind was so strong sometimes and rattled the tent that I just woke up. It was uh, pretty crazy. There was one time where there was a wave of wind coming in. Imagine this roar coming from far away in the forest and just growing louder and louder and louder. And then it washed over this opening here and over my tent and just rattled everything. And then it continued moving on to the next section and away from me. It was this crazy wave. I've, I don't know if I've ever heard it quite like this before. It was very cool. I don't want to go out there. It's cold. <laughs> oh well. Just put on enough clothes and get out there. That's why we're here for, isn't it? 
tent looks really good still. I didn't have to retighten anything. It just kept its tightness. Uh, you can't see it anymore now, but I used just regular stakes to tighten the guy lines and everything because the ground was actually very soft. It was so warm the last few days. It was warm, it was raining, <clears throat> and then it froze again, and then it rained again. <laughs> The weather has just been crazy. We've seen this place before in a previous episode, but I really do like it a lot. And I'm all alone here, of course. The wind is cold, the sun is warm. If there wasn't any wind, I would definitely sit outside and have breakfast. But. It's actually a lot warm in the tent, I just noticed when I grabbed my camera. As I'm preparing uh, my day pack today, I noticed that my water bottle froze last night a little bit. It's still partially watery, but it's also frozen. The big container, the water container was actually okay. It just had a little sheet of ice, but this water bottle here. <laughs> and that was inside the tent. And it was inside an insulated bag. So you can imagine how cold it actually got. Uh, I have to look up again. I think it was supposed to be minus 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, either tonight or last night. So I'm just going to make... Uh, heat up some water, make some tea, pack up my bag, and uh, and then I'm out of here. It's super warm here in the tent, and I'm actually drying a towel because I spilled some water earlier. And I spilled it on my chair and on my mattress that I sit on. So that was brilliant. But anyway, open up the ventilation to maybe dry out some of the condensation here. But it's an amazing day, no more clouds. And I just uh, want to get out now and explore a little bit with you guys.
afternoon, I think it's after five o'clock already, and I haven't spoken to you almost all day. I was just busy driving around looking for cool places to shoot, uh, to record, and I found this amazing waterfall which you just saw earlier, and also the, the frozen river which was crazy. And uh, at the very end, the uh, lake, and it was super windy there still. I didn't even take the good camera out, I just took my iPhone real quick to take some pictures and uh, the wind was pushing me on the lake, on the ice. So uh, yeah, it was wild. It's slippery. There's ice everywhere. <laughs> it's just too nice to sit in the tent. It's so sunny. The wind is freezing cold, but the sun makes it all better. So. This is the water from last night and it always tightens down so much when the water cools off. I guess I'm starting to like these oats now. didn't like them at first so much because they're so sweet. But I've grown used to them, at least for camping. Definitely not for home. Nice and warm. I want to show you guys something cool. Let me get something out of the car real quick. The High Falls Gorge is where I took you guys yesterday. It's the, the cool waterfall, the gorge that I walked along in and took some nice photos and videos of. But they had a nice little store inside in the cafe and the store had the perfect mug for me. It's the front side and this is the other side here. Camp in the wilderness. But this tent here, I bought this because it looks exactly like my logo. I might as well use this uh, opportunity while I have this mug here in my hand to explain my name. I call myself Adventures and Dreams. And it's a funny backstory with this name. Uh, it actually came from the airline that I used <coughs> back in October <coughs> last year, which was uh, 2018. And 
on my luggage receipt, they misspelled my name and they called me Anne Dreams. And my boyfriend and I have been joking about this name ever since and it's kind of a loving nickname for me in a way. And so it just was pretty easy to make adventures and dreams out of this. And the logo you see is actually from my boyfriend. Um, he sketched it for me and I, I just love his sketches and uh, they're really fun. And so I asked him if he could draw my logo. That was the paper. I'll pick it up later. So yeah, he sketched my logo and the tent actually looks like this. And I just colored it real quick and, and that's it. That's how my logo came about. This location actually inspired my logo. This uh, place here, the, the tree, the big tree on the side, the mountains, the way the hill is rolling. It's exactly like my logo. And I didn't really think about it uh, at the time, but I think subconsciously it just kind of inspired me because I really love this place so much, uh, the Keen Farms here in the Adirondack Mountains. And uh, so yeah, that's the story of my name and my logo. I have everything packed up now, uh, everything is out of the tent. But now I have an interesting problem actually, something I didn't expect at all. I hammered the stakes in on Friday night and the ground was very soft and that gave me a lot of stability over the night but now it's gotten really cold and the stakes are frozen in the ground. <laughs> I can't pull them out right now and I have to figure out how to get those out now. Obviously I don't want to leave them here so hmm, let me show you what I mean. Well, here they are, one of them. It just doesn't come loose at all. I am uh, a little baffled. <laughs> so let me figure out how to do this. And when I have a solution, I will let you know. It's crazy. I got one of them out. I used uh, my tiny little lighter to heat up the steak a little bit and then with my axe I was actually able to pull it out but now my lighter has died and I have no idea how to get those other ones out. Ah, That's crazy. Well I really did need the steaks on Friday because of the wind. And there's not enough snow for the snow steaks and so I really didn't have a choice at the time. But now, now I have the regrets. <laughs> no, actually I don't have regrets. Uh, safety was more important than um, getting the stakes out now. So, well, wish me luck, guys. Well, my friends, I have one more update. I think I'm going to abandon my attempt to get those out right now. It kind of sucks because those are very good stakes, high quality. I hope I can get them back from here and if not, Oh well, I just uh, take the loss, I suppose. <laughs> but I can't believe how how much they froze into the ground. And some of them are hammered in really quite far, so it would take a long time to get out. So, yeah. Let me show you the abandoned space. <laughs> you see the imprint from the tent. And my useless attempts get the stakes out. So yeah, one of them I got. But there are still, let's see, two, four, five, six. I think there are still 14 stakes here. That I have to leave behind. 13 or 14. Where is it? Yeah. See how I dug in in the snow with my axe, kind of chipped away at the uh, at the string a little bit there, and chipped away at the stake itself. Not good. So I 
Oh well. It was still worth it. It was a wonderful weekend again. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I was able to capture some of these storms from Friday. And then the waterfall and the stars and at night on Saturday. I sure had a good time. But everything is packed up here. I just have to take it down to the car and head out. And that's a lot of stuff, isn't it? The tent, spare clothes and knickknacks. A little $17 shovel. Here's my photo bag. And here is my backpack with everything else in it. And here's the tripod and a bag of trash. And that's it. I see you again soon, Keen Farm. I promise you. And hopefully you will give back those stakes to me. <laughs> All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. I'll see you on the next one.